Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Jack Maney. Today is going to be another nice day to get outdoors and enjoy some sunshine. Rain chances are going to be taking a hiatus for quite some time, at least until the weekend. Let's take a look outside from that tower cam. We've got almost completely clear skies, a little bit of light now starting to show up from the dawn, but we're still about 30 to 45 minutes away from seeing sunrise here on the South Plains and temperatures as a result are still going to be nice and cool for the next few hours, 65 degrees. We're fairly close to our low temperature we might try to sneak in another degree or two of cooling before the sun comes up, but still just a nice day to get outdoors. I would take my coffee out on the porch this morning if I was you. Just a little, little suggestion there. West winds of 6 miles per hour, 58 degree dew point, not too bad on the humidity either. And even getting down into the upper 50s out there in Friona, nice and crisp this morning with 58 degrees for Friona, 59 in Clovis, also 59 degrees for Muleshoe. Some of those cooler sheltered valleys definitely could be seeing some upper 50s right now and middle 60s to the low 70s out to the east a little bit more typical for this time of the year but we are slowly continuing our slide down into the fall and our morning low temperatures as a result are generally trending a little bit cooler day by day now heading off to school today it will be a nice and cool 65 degrees no cloud cover expected throughout the day maybe just a few thin clouds here or there but nothing that's going to impede any of that sunshine today would be a good day to just get outside, do any outdoor activities, maybe work on your tan a little bit. Just make sure you remember to wear your sunscreen if you're going to be outdoors by this afternoon. Heading home from school, 93 degrees, a little bit on the warm side. Maybe even it could qualify as slightly hot, but really I would consider today to be a comfortable day to get outdoors and just enjoy the nice temperatures across the region. We'll be seeing a few upper 80s, but mostly low 90s for the entire South Plains. Light winds generally switching around from westerly to easterly throughout the day and we're going to be staying in this pattern for the next several days as a result of this big powerful ridge of high pressure out towards the west. Now that's giving a serious heat wave to folks near the Four Corners region into the Great Basin but for us here we're just out on the eastern fringe of that so we're not going to be seeing the worst effects of the high pressure and also a storm system rounding the top of that in the jet stream is going to crunch that high pressure down weaken it into the end of this week and that should open the door for a cold front to arrive by Saturday. Saturday or Sunday of uh, Sunday into next week. We'll be keeping things a little bit more on the cool side, but I think the ridge is going to persist into next week and that will be keeping our rain chances quite low. Now we'll update on the tropics as well. Hurricane K is moving up the western coast of Mexico, expected to peak as a category three storm and will be getting dangerously close to the Baja California Peninsula, but that will be weakening and encountering cooler waters before it reaches the California coast. And then into the Atlantic Basin, we've got Tropical Storm Earl strengthening, expected to also become a Category 3 major hurricane over the open waters as it accelerates off towards the north and east. Only a problem for the fish out there in the North Atlantic. Another storm system might try to develop a 60% chance of that. Otherwise, things are going to be mostly quiet. The tropics not going to be posing too many issues. And into the weekend with that cold front arriving, your Texas Tech game day might get a little bit stormy, especially later in the day. Looks like right now timing on that cold front would be later on in the evening as we bring in the fourth quarter. There might be a few storms around, but still not expecting a washout by any means. Just a few scattered thunderstorms with a 20% chance in the evening on Saturday and temperatures after that cold front looking even better with highs potentially in the upper 70s for Sunday.